Now I will, I will mention two practical tips, inshallah. How can we maintain our steadfastness after making a positive change? Two points, inshallah, very important. Number one is dua, but not any dua. A dua that the Prophet ﷺ used to make to strengthen his heart upon the straight path. What is it? Allahumma inni as'aluka thabata fil amr. Oh Allah, I ask you continuity and steadfastness in my affair. Look, go on the internet, get this dua, print it out, teach it to your children and to your families and to your friends. Share it on Facebook and Twitter. This is how smart you can use this, these social media. It's not about going to check whether Sister Fatima has changed her profile picture or not. We waste time just looking at the album. 20 to 100 photos, just we go one by one, like, like, like. <laughs> You're wasting your time. You could have read some, you know, surahs or some ayat from the Quran instead. Share these things. Allahumma inni as'aluka thabata fil amr. Oh Allah, I ask you continuity, steadfastness upon this matter. Because the most beloved act in the sight of Allah is what? Continuous act of worship, even if it is little, even if it is small. That's what the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said. Ahabbu al-a'mali ila Allah adwamaha wa inqal. The most beloved deeds to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are continuous actions, continuous deeds, even if they are little. Even if they are little. And that's why again in another dua, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Allahumma ya muthabbit al-khuloob, thabbit qalbi ala deenik. Oh Allah, who changed the hearts, who strengthened strength the heart. Make my heart firm upon your deen, upon your religion. Who is making this dua? The Prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The best of all choices. The selection of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is making this dua. How about you and I? When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed an ayah, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks directly to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, telling him what? فَاسْتَقِمْ كَمَا أُمِرْتْ be firm, be steadfast as you have been commanded by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told his companions what? Shayyabatni hud. The surah of hud had made, had turned my hair into gray because of the powerful message that it contained. The best of all people was commanded to be straightforward, to be steadfast. How about you and I? So this is the first tip if you wanted to remain upon the straight path. Do not give up on dua. This is the most powerful tool Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had given us. It is the only tool that can change your destiny. If you want to make a change, dua is number one on the list. The Prophet sallallahu said, dua and qada ya'talijani ila yawm al qiyamah. They are actually fighting one another until the day of judgment. The qada of Allah is coming down to take place. And the dua of a person is going up, pushing back that qada. So if something was, well, ayadu billah, apparently uh, bad was going to happen, your dua can make a change. So do not ever overlook the power of dua. And especially if you wanted to remain firm, steadfast, these two duas, you should memorize them, you should teach them to others. And secondly, good company. I related my story earlier to tell you that I was always with the wrong people in the wrong place, all the time. So no one, called, no one came to me and told me, fear Allah, brother. Ittaqillah. No one came and told me, lower your gaze, akhi. No one. In fact, those people were telling me the opposite. Let us backbite. Let us, you know, look at bad women. Let us drink. Let us smoke. But as soon as I go to the masjid, later on after that uncle who scared me, <laughs> later on, all the brothers were surrounding me and trying, very interested, to get me into da'wah. And that's another thing that can make your heart, you know, steadfast upon the true path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to engage in da'wah. When you see people are guided because of your effort, you will remain firm for a long time, inshaAllah. So the second one is good company. As I said earlier, the hadith, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu made it very, very clear. Al-mar'u ala deen khalilih. A person will be inclined to follow the religion of his friend. So be careful of who are your friends. You have to be selective when it comes to friends.